saw the historic summit of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. And yesterday, I had the opportunity to sit down with the Secretary General, the man who had the ear of every head of state in the Islamic world and beyond. What a chance to understand the subtle intricacies of the entire Muslim world. Congratulations on your recent summit. Thank you. It went very well. You serve as the voice of the Islamic country. That's right. This is by the very short of the charter. What does that voice sound like? Does it sound like, ah, 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 I'm going to kill you. Ah, I'm going to kill you from Harry. Ah. Because occasionally that is how it can come across. There is a need to have a comprehensive outlook and to deal with the, with the problems in the, the short history of using drones against terrorists. There have been certain uh, major mistakes by killing innocent civilian people. Right, so, so people don't want these drones? You have to care also for the legal aspect of it, ethical aspect, morality of it. It's not only that you are uh, fulfilling your own national interest. It's a clear human rights infraction and uh, it, abso it absolutely has to stop. Okay, so no drones. Okay, now whenever someone is holding this, it's a safe space and they get to say what they like about the other culture. I have to make reference to two things. In the first, when President Obama was first, first inaugurated, yeah, okay. inaugurated, I published an open letter to him. Oh, yeah, all right. I have the pillar. Please allow me.